Okay, guys, so. Is it recording? Is he number Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, so. Today we're doing. Uh, finishing up color. That's the next chapter. The color spectrum is where we ended yesterday. Remember, the color spectrum is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Those are the seven colors. They're actually always in that order. Like in a rainbow, when you split. A beam of light, you get a rainbow, they will always be in that order. The important thing to remember about light is that white is all the colors added together, and black is when you have no light. So, how do we see stuff? With our eyes. The only thing, thank you, Sam. The only thing we actually see is the color that is reflected off the object. All the other colors are absorbed. So, we see the color that's reflected, all the other colors are absorbed. So, this apple seems red because white light hits it. The orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the indigo, and the violet all get absorbed into the apple. The red gets reflected away. What's its real color? It's red. But what we're seeing is the red color reflecting all the other colors are being absorbed. Okay? This is important. The color of light influences what color we see. If you love... Oh, yeah. Go ahead and put that away. Thank you. Um, because if I have a different colored light, if I use a red light or a blue light or a green light, I don't have the other colors. So only certain colors can be reflected or absorbed. You can see this here. With red light, you can't see the hearts on this card because the hearts are reflecting red, but so is the white part because there's no other colors for the white to reflect. And with green light, what color do the hearts appear to be? Black. Black. Why? There is no white. Because there's no what? White. There's light, but it's there's no, absorbing. There's no red. Huh? There's no red. There's no red to be reflected. It's absorbing the green, and it can't reflect it, the red because there is no red, so it looks black. Then how come the blue color, is the same? Like the lime green color. But the weird thing about blue is, take a look. Green doesn't really have much red or blue in it, so they almost disappear. Okay, so what you're actually seeing is what color is being reflected. Not what color uh, is hitting it, but what color is being reflected. All the other colors are being absorbed. Okay. Transmission is a little bit different. If I have a pane of glass, like yellow glass or blue glass or green glass, that's the color that it lets through. All the other colors are absorbed in the glass. Why is there red? Uh, oh, that's probably just a messed up uh, picture. Sorry about that. I didn't notice it when I... When I, I like the yellow is green, too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're doing there. Mr. Yes. Beck, I think you should move the iPad right. a little bit to the right, because the words are all slanted, from what I know. Well, if they're slanted, it's fine. As long as they can read Yeah, it. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. So, color... Color transparent to the materials are opaque to all colors but the color they seem. So... This blue one lets blue light through and absorbs all the other colors. It's opaque to those ones. It's only transparent to the blue. This one should have a green shadow. I don't know what's going on with this picture. This one should have a yellow shadow, etc. I should have paid more careful attention to those pictures. For example, you know, blue glass lets blue light through but absorbs all the others. So, Sunlight. Sunlight is almost pure white light, but it's not quite pure. As you can see from this graph, it's stronger in the green-yellow area and weaker in the red and blue area. It's got them, but not as many of them. This is why, why the sun is yellow. That's why the sun is yellow and appears to be more yellowish light. Anybody ever go out in after sunlight and it seems different than light from, from your yes. uh, inside? Because the light inside is more white than the light outside. The light outside is more yellowy. That's why you think it's so 
Yeah. So, yeah, so actually, the, the lights inside are actually not just more white, they're more blue. They have more blue in their spectrum. Uh, and different lights do different colors, depending on what's in it. Even though they, the light it, it gives off appears to be white, it's actually made of a mix, and these mix can have differing levels. So, I have a question. Yes. Do so you know how like the sky is blue? Is it? Actually I'm getting there. Okay. Sky is blue is coming up. Anything else, guys? I can't wait. Any questions on sunlight? <laughs> okay. I that. Now. This is the part where I have to unteach you. What? How colors mix. No. Oh, wait, wait, guys, no. guys. How colors mix? There are three primary colors of light. The three primary colors of light are red, blue, and green. Red is the low frequency, high wavelength. Blue is the high frequency, low wavelength, and green is the middle. When you mix these three colors, you get white. If you mix red and blue, you get the color magenta. Do we need to know this? Yes. Really? Like, like the red this is what they do what colors. Yeah, they're made color. Yes, this is for light. When you mix blue and green, you get the color cyan. Cyan. Let's write this down. Yes, please. It should be in your notes. All these slides should be in your notes. Now the one that always confuses people, when you mix red and green, you get yellow. No. That's because yellow is between red and green on the spectrum. It goes red, orange, yellow, green. So when you mix red and green, you get yellow. If you mix yellow, cyan, and magenta, will You get white. Yep. If you mix yellow, magenta, and cyan, you get white. Any color and the rainbow can be made by mixing different uh, intensities. So bright green with lighter red will give you an orange. Um, actually, brighter red with lighter green will give you an orange, and so on. You can get any color you want by varying the intensities of the, of the primary colors. So cyan is basically like sky blue. A little bit, yeah. Um, cyan. It's, it's basically sky blue. When you mix the complementary colors, you also get white. A complementary color is two colors that are opposite of each other on this wheel. So what's the complementary color for red? Cyan. 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 What's the complementary color for yellow? Blue. 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 Okay? <laughs> so if you mix the opposites, they have all of the frequencies needed to make the white color. Is I know it's I complicated because you, in third grade or whatever, you learn that red, blue, and yellow are the primary colors, but that's for pigments and not light, and I'll explain how they are different. Next slide. I thought purple and yellow were the opposite. They are for pigments, not for light. Yes. Light. So it's not really it's wrong, it's just you're talking about something different. Yes, and I'll explain why it works differently. Because this is when you add light frequencies together, pigments work by subtracting. And I'll show that in a second. So any complementary mix is white. We'll give you white. Yeah. And complementaries are opposites. So let's do pigments, what you know. Oh, question. Uh, I think black is what you get when you mix all the pigments. Yes. So I'll show that in the next slide. Anything else? Okay. So with pigments, when you mix them all together, you get black. And that's because, remember, you're seeing the colors that are reflected from the paint. All the other colors are absorbed. So if you mix all the colors, what colors are being absorbed? Everything. All of them. You're welcome. All of them are being absorbed, so you don't get any colors back. So you can see this here. Yellow is reflecting. Uh, yellow reflects the red, the orange, the yellow, and the green. It absorbs all the other ones. The blue reflects the green, the blue, and the violet. Reflects all the other ones. Or absorbs all the other ones, sorry. So when you mix them together, you get green because... All the colors get absorbed except for the green because both yellow and blue reflect green. See that? I see you shaking your head. So you get the yellow reflects not just yellow, but it also reflects orange, red, and green. 
But we see that mix is yellow. They look like metals. The blue <laughs> reflects it's pink and a pink. the green, the blue, and the purple. But we see that three colors mixed as blue. When you mix them together, everything gets absorbed except for the green, which both the blue and the yellow reflect, so we see the color of green. Okay? I know it's a little bit confusing, but that's why it works like that. And if you mix all the colors together, they'd end up absorbing all the colors, so you get nothing reflecting back, so you get black. Any questions on how paints work? So let's ask some questions here. Why is? When I talk about color and light, we always get to the why is. Why is the sky blue? The sky is blue because it acts like a giant prism. The sky is blue because it acts like a giant prism. The particles in the air reflect the blue lights around, the blue part of the spectrum around, and scatter them. So it's not reflecting the ocean. It's not reflecting the ocean. The sky is blue because it's scattering all the blue light, but all the other colors get through. No one cares. Yeah. Okay? Absolutely really happy. So the other colors get through, but all the blue lights get sat scattered around, so we're seeing the scattering. So we see the sky is blue. You know, I always thought the sky was yellow, from my perspective. Thank you. Why are sunsets red? The sunsets are red because when we're looking through a thicker atmosphere, it acts like a thicker prism. And red starts to get scattered when it's thick. Yellows and red start to get scattered. So we see the sunset as turning the sky red instead of blue because we're seeing it through a much thicker atmosphere than normal. Because we're seeing it across the planet like that. So you're looking not through 10 miles of sky, but through 100 miles of sky. Yes. It's because of uh, their frequencies and their wavelengths. High frequencies get scattered, like blues and purples, but low, fre uh, low frequencies get through. Okay? Lastly, when I explain why the sky is blue, I always get why is water blue-green? Water is blue-green because of absorption. When you have a cup of water, what color is it? White. It's clear. It's clear. Because it's... It's very shallow, and all the light gets through it. Guys? All the light gets through very shallow water. But as you make water deeper, colors start to get absorbed. The first colors to be absorbed, you can see right here, red, orange, and yellow are the first three colors to be absorbed at the shallowest depths. Blues and greens are the ones that go further down before they get absorbed. So we see water is blue-green, because we see the blue and the green. If it gets deeper, what color is water? Purple. If you look deep in the ocean, 30, 40, 50, 100 feet down, what color is it? It's black. Because none of the light gets through. It absorbs it all. Purple? That's what it says on the chart. No, purple's getting absorbed. So we see water is blue-green because blue and green are the last colors to be absorbed from water, from depth. Okay? I have one last slide. Sorry. Atomic spectra. One of the great things about uh, atoms is when you heat them up in a gaseous state, they give off colors. Mm -hmm. This is what a hot body color would be like, that's just white. But if it's gas, you will get different bands of colors that they're giving off. This is called their atomic spectra. Atomic spectra are individual for every element. So if you have these bands of colors, that's lithium. These bands of colors is nitrogen. These bands are so on. That's No, that's potassium. It is very specific. Every element has its own spectra. So how do we know what the sun's made of? Because it's spectra. We took its atomic spectra, and it had the bands for hydrogen and helium. OK? And we can do that for almost any, any body that we heat up. How do we know what minerals are made of? We melt them. We heat them up and we get their atomic spectra. And we can figure out exactly what elements are in there. Because these are like fingerprints. They are individual to every element. Okay? Any questions on this? Okay, we're done.
Go ahead and turn this off. Uh, Tom?